My name is Rob Bolware. I'm the manager of stakeholder relations for Seneca Resources Corporation. Seneca Resources is a 100-year-old Pennsylvania oil and gas company. We've operated primarily on the western side of the state, but we also are drilling deep wells on the western side as well as in Lycoming, Tioga counties in uh, north central Pennsylvania. What you see behind us is a natural gas drilling rig used to access gas from the Marcellus and Utica regions. Uh, full drilling operation right now. We're completing our fourth of six wells on this pad location. The drilling rig is running at approximately uh, a thousand, less than a thousand feet from total depth right now. So they'll have cement trucks or cement tanks over my right shoulder. Those tanks will be in action here soon, uh, doing the cementing the casing in place. If you look around the pad perimeter, we have a series of trailers where the workers on location will be housed. This is a 24-hour operation. The workers on location work 12-hour shifts, 12 hours on, 12 hours off, and they'll be here for 14 days at a time, so two weeks on and two weeks off. Uh, Seneca Resources is operated in Pennsylvania for a rather long time and we started engaging in Marcellus production first with a partner and then began drilling wells on our own. We're one of the largest drillers from a state perspective. Uh, we rank in the top 15, top 12 as far as number of Marcellus wells and uh, production volume from those wells. When you look at the operations that we have in general, part of the things that we're talking about today are the environmental controls that we have in place. Seneca was one of the first operators to run a 100% dedicated natural gas drilling rig. This rig behind me runs on liquefied natural gas. Our other rig on the top of the hill is running on field gas. Some of the other measures that we put in place along with the standard erosion controls are a series of pad protectors to make sure any spills that are on location are contained within the pad area. You might see over my shoulder the wooden rig mats that the rig will operate on as well as trucks bringing equipment in. That's an extra layer of protection that we have which prevents punctures from the pad that's right underneath that adjacent rig mat. Any liquids that are spilled on location follow back into the cellar or the vault underneath the drilling rig where they can be collected and disposed of according to state and federal regulations. 